Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bad Dream Coma, Chapter 8. I think this is it. I think this is the finale. I think after this episode, we're all done with Bad Dream Coma. Now, that being said, I might check out other endings. We'll see. But I think for now, this will be the final episode of Bad Dream Coma. I think this is where we are going to run into our bad ending. Chapter 8, Exit. And I remember this now. It was so devastatingly quiet the last time we were here. Yeah. Go to the cliff. Oh, so that's how I leave. I just... I just go straight to the cliff. But, ha, Before I do that, I'm not doing that. I am going to go over here, because I do remember, very briefly, that there was a toy battery in here, and I'm gonna take that before I go to the cliff, because I'm not sure if I get to come back, so let's go to the cliff. Here we are. Hey! So you are the kid with the hat. Okay, so who was the younger one then? Right, so he must be the one that was in the pictures with the hat. So there is somebody younger than him. It's such an awkward situation. Sometimes I happen to dream about my childhood. It's funny. Oh, okay, so... I think we're kind of admitting that he is an adult and he's a child. Which is one of the theories we had before. An adult man who dreams that he can go to school again. Eh. I wish I could see my parents. I miss them very much. It was difficult at the beginning, but time heals wounds. Now I have my own family that counts on me. That's why I'd be happy to leave this place. So yeah, are we all just like a bunch of us in comas? Because again, from my understanding, from what this game was saying, unless I'm kind of missing the overall plot here, the game is made up of a bunch of different people's nightmares and dreams and monsters. It's not just one person doing all of this. But you know, maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe this kid's doing it all. But it's my understanding that there's a bunch of people contributing to what's going on here. We need to convince Death to release us. I'll go back to the hospital and maybe I'll figure something out? See you later. Oh, so maybe this isn't gonna be the last chapter. He had a teddy bear on his chest, which is pretty interesting. But I can read these, can't I? Eve? <laughs> Aurora. We've seen Eve and Aurora, like, everywhere. Yeah. Now, I wonder if those are people that are... in the coma, or... Are those his parents? No, those gotta be people that are in the coma. It's gotta be people that are in the coma. But this is a new area here. Kinda. But the area we were just at is not new. Oh! Okay, yeah, this isn't new. There was a big spider here before. But there's new stuff going on here. And I have a key, which was that. Uh, the Gravedigger's house. Is there anything for me to pick up before I go on in there? <laughs> Looks like we're golden, Sally. So what is this? Hi, Teddy Bear. Oh, squeaky, squeaky. I got a bear head. A bear head. And there's a bear head. Lots of bear heads. Okay. Anything else for me to touch? We have a locked door. But nothing around in here, so let's go into this. Whoa. Ah, hello. I can punch the spider. Oh, boy. We're not getting back into that action again. So there was nothing here except for a bear head. Unless I missed it. Don't punch the spider. Don't. Ah. I'm gonna die. Dude, I just die. I just died. I just died. Was I supposed to die? What happens when you die? Oh shit, he's eating my arm. What? Dude, straight up eating my arm! No way! Agony. Yeah, I'd say not having an arm would hurt, but I need to die, don't I? What am I supposed to do about this prick? I couldn't go this way if I wanted. I gotta burn him off? Cut him off? Ah, shut up. There's gotta be something I can do with him. Quit nibbling on me, you cock! What the f- So I really can't go back that way, but he ate my arm and now I'm in agony. Great! Well, I messed that one up. Wahoopsie! <laughs> so what are you hiding in here? And Do I even have a hand anymore? I don't even know. I need to unlock something. And... Who in the heckers knows where that place is for me to unlock? Because I can't go back anywhere. 
Nothing seems too clickable. Oh, and now he's gone. Why, thanks for leaving, Mr. Spider-Man. You sack of dick. And now I can go this way. It was blocked him off before. I couldn't really see. Maybe I could always go this way. Well, oops. Let's go see what I can do with my no hand. <laughs> I wonder if I actually can't touch things anymore because of that. All right, so there's this grave here, and now we're, again, we're back here. Okay! How does that make you feel, Mr. Dead Guy? The lightning right there. Magdalena. Okay. Oh, can I go in here now? I can go in here now! And then this is where we went into the forest, I think? Right, I can go into there. What do we have around in here before I go into that new area? All sorts of goodies. I wonder if Granny's still here. Oh, hello! You're not so chatty today. Okay, no big deal. <laughs> That's fine. I didn't want to talk that bad anyway, but this seems new. There was not somebody there before, was there? Oh boy. Okay, well, let's go inside of this thing, huh? Oh. I could just smack it. I can't actually... can't actually do anything. I can just touch it. Okay, well, I guess we have more exploring to do, because... I haven't found anything I can interact with here, so let's go find that new place. Oh look, someone hung themselves back there, isn't that nice? Okay, I'm just gonna go back this way now. Oh, you changed too! I didn't even realize that, your face is all gone now! Oh, where'd you put it? Or who took it, I think is probably a better question. Oh my. Do you think I could put the bear head there? Oh ho! Will you open up now? Here we go. And now let's not forget what we're trying to do is convince death to start killing people again, which is incredibly weird, but I'm pretty sure we ran into death the first time here. And out, other than this, I don't see anything to touch, so let's see what's inside of here. And now you're flipped around. Anything else to touch? And there goes the balloon! So there's probably gonna be an air balloon somewhere flying around outside, right? Hot air balloon. So let's go see if we can find it around here somewhere. And you still got nothing to say, huh? Well, god dangers. Nothing? I don't see a hot air balloon. Don't see a hot air balloon. Still no hot air balloons. Okay. <laughs> Over this way. Still no hot air balloons! Oh, there it is. Perfect. I can go inside? Yeah, why not? Oh, we're all the way back here. Oh, damn. I'm at the hospital. Sup, bruh? Leave me alone. Of course. You don't like me. You never did. You never did like me. Can't you see the line? <laughs> this bullshit again? <laughs> the line bullshit again? Okay! 100% torment. Everything's turning green. We started off with red. Oh, hi, kid. Hey! I found this camera. I thought it may be useful. Photos of suffering people will be a perfect evidence for death. We just need to find a battery and photographic film. Oh, maybe you'll manage to find them. Well, I got you a battery, kid. There goes that, but now I gotta find film? Ugh. Where the hell do I find film in this place? I have not been able to go into there the whole video game, by the way. Was that- was that- oh, oh, yeah, you're all suffering. Yeah. You wanna die, don't you? Yeah. Come on, death. <laughs> Poor man just crawled in here. You seem to have something to do with his suffering. Maybe that's me. Oh, wait, no! Oh, that's not me. That's the fisherman dude that we fed the poison. What do you- what do you- what do you mean I had something to do with this? You would turn this world into a nightmare. What if I try to touch your booby? <laughs> what if I touch your leg? No, everything's like that. I thought it was because of the booby. So if I hurt her, the whole world will turn into a nightmare. Ugh. I mean, we've kind of already done that, right? Everything we've done has turned this eyeball into a nightmare. Sorry about your ball eye, your eyeball. Oh boy. Hope that girl's back eventually. I don't really know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna try to murder everybody, right? But that's like the nice thing to do, I guess, in this game. That's the- that's the big twist. Everybody wants to die. So we gotta find... Oh, this guy. Hey, this guy. I remember you. I took off your hand. Cut out your eyeballs. Yeah, you're not really talking much today, though. Oh! Sorry. Didn't mean to put that all over the place. <laughs> I mean, you should just- you should probably pick that up. <laughs> you know, I think it'd be a good idea. Just, just put that back in your tummy. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? The lights are gone. Okay. And did I check the bathroom? I did not, but I need to find film. And... 
I ain't finding a whole lot of film. So I'm gonna go through everything that is super new here. And can I go outside? You're blocking the outside. That's what you're doing. Okay. And until I find the film, no point in me talking here. So I'm gonna go try to find that real quick. BRB. Oh, I found film. It was around here. I don't even know what I clicked. Oh well, I got it. Got what I needed. I didn't. I don't know how I did it, but oh well. Here you go, camera. Here's my camera. And now I need to take pictures of all these people that are suffering. Great. I mean, you look pretty suffering, you know? Like, you look like you should have died. What about you? Yeah, you don't look too happy. Who else is hurting? Occupied! Get out of here. Fine. God. Didn't want to take a picture of you anyway. I mean, him, he doesn't look like he's suffering that bad. Just mildly annoyed. Ah, sure. <laughs> oh. Oh? Oh! Did you just unlock this? Yeah, you look pretty sad. What about you? Is that all I got for pictures? Or did these two- was that a twofer right there? I think that may have been a twofer. Okay. Well, I suppose may as well save if I can. And I already got you. What about- now you're gone, which means I can go inside. Do you need a picture of you taken? Do you have any news? Um... No? I have a scissors. <laughs> And a clown. And a camera, which I wanted to use on you, but I apparently cannot. Alright. Well... I don't think I'm ready for kid yet. I want to go this way and take a picture. Maybe I only had four pictures worth of pictures. Or maybe it's just people that are bleeding. I'm not sure. I think we're good to go and talk to kid, though. Have you taken some pictures? Yes, I have. Wait here for a moment and I will print them. Wait, don't you print them, like, in here? There is no printer, I thought. I thought that was the thing. You can't print anything in this place because there's no printers connected. I thought that was the, the big problem I had last time. Yeah, we gotta do something about him, huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, probably. He's just wrecking the place, no big deal. So, kid, about that, uh, that handle, door handle I just got. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's put that right there. Oh, let's try that again, actually. Uh, no, that's just a big joke. Okay. Why is this door handle so shitty at being a door handle? Am I missing something here? Okay. Oh, you're locked. Okay, you just don't give a shit. I, who? Oh, that problem again. Okay, we gotta- we gotta get this going in high gear here. Turn off the water. Don't want your plumbing going at a time like this. Oh, I flushed the toilet. What am I supposed to do? Camera? No? Anything? The door handle's like on vacation, man. Jam it in? No? Glue or something? A sc like, cause that just ain't working. I gotta do something to it before I use that, or I gotta go somewhere else with this freaking door handle. That I just don't understand quite yet. Do I need to collect some goop? Like, there's got to be something else that I can do. Because what's going on here just ain't working. Oh, now he's on fire. Great. Oh, my God. Maybe this is what death needs? A little bit of convincing because nothing's working here? Or did I just lose? Oh, quit laughing. I think I didn't do it right. <laughs> what is going on here? You think I freaking know? I found the damn door handle. <laughs> yeah, look at all this carnage. It's not the way it was supposed to be. Well, this is the bad ending, so... I mean, you're probably right. All these suffering people. Yeah, I'm expecting this to turn out, like, nice and happy. Who am I kidding? <laughs> this isn't gonna be good at all. I have the bad ending route, like, locked down. Oh my god. I have to finish this.
So, if you're completely obliterated, do you still die even without death taking you? Oh no, he's gonna do something to me. Prepare yourself! Oh hey! Did I wake up or something? Achievement unlocked, victim. What happened? The end. Oh my. So the bad ending is kind of the good ending, I guess? Cause I got out of the coma, which is what I wanted? Right? No, not right. I don't know. Right. So, it's actually done, huh? Load game. Yeah. If I try to reload, it just brings me back here, and the whole world's probably gonna blow up again. This is the bad ending. No matter what, this is the bad ending. And then in terms of getting the good ending, there's a lot of things I gotta do correctly, which I did incorrectly the first time, be it blood on hands, dishonesty, all across the gate. Neutral ending might be a little different, too. Huh. Well, I got the bad ending. And the Cyclops came in and wrecked us, which is weird because we made a Cyclops by stabbing someone in the eye. Maybe that's the same person, I don't know. But that's the bad ending of Bad Dream Coma. Huh. How do I get back to the freaking menu here? Let's do restart level and that'll bring us to a quieter place, but I am so confused about that. So maybe the good ending, I mean, I don't know yet, I haven't seen it, but maybe the good ending is you just kind of stay in this world where everything's great and you don't die and you just live forever? I don't know! Or maybe the parents come back? I don't know! But this was the ending of Bad Dream Coma. I'm expecting to see some more insight when I go through the game again and try to get the good ending. So, thank you guys so much for being a part of Bad Dream Coma. I will take a look into the other endings and see if they're worth making a video about. Or if playing through it entirely is something we'd want to do, I'm not sure. But again, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. I really, really, really enjoyed Bad Dream Coma. Make sure you stick around for the end card in case the good ending playthrough starts up. I'll have it at the end of the video. But again, I really like this game. Kind of caught me off guard, came out of nowhere. At least I didn't see it coming. And it was a very enjoyable, very artistic experience, which I appreciate. So... Thank you. Go ahead and leave a like if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. Let's me know that you guys appreciate all the work I put into the series, making these videos for you. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. That way you can see more of whatever we do around here, possibly some Bad Dream Coma good ending. So, have a good one. Be good to each other, and I'll see you in the next video.